Stanford University. I find a fantastic connection between science education and global health is the fact that you have to, you're forced to design robust tools for a five to a ten year old kid and that's the exact same tools that might actually save somebody's life from a context of global health. We have a device here which is the music box and how this works is at the punch tape is run through the device. We took this platform and looked at the gear pins and uh, realized uh, we could drive fluids with this. With the presence of a hole, the gear pin rotates and interfaces with the channel. So as it turns, it pushes the fluid forward. So the idea is very simple. First of all, uh, we build many different types of fluidic chips. This is a technology that's been around now for several years. One of these chips essentially plugs in into my punch card tape and what it enables suddenly is a way such that I can encode and run this punch card tape. It passes through the device, it reads all this information, but implements that directly on the mechanism in the fluidic channels. So it's essentially a new control mechanism that allows us to do fairly complex control strategies, but all I need is just this and not uh, an entire lab. Every time you punch a hole in this punch card, you get one single droplet coming out of the system. This is almost like digitizing fluids. Just like on a computer, you code and make all kinds of apps. One of the things that would eventually end up happening is any number of chemistries can be ported to the simple platform. For instance, to test water quality and other applications, including snake venom screens or doing multiplex assays for medical diagnostics. So this, I sort of believe, is the very beginning version 0.1. Uh, and what it allows us to do is then build on the complexity of this. But at that same time, keep these objects robust. It's really democratizing chemistry and just doing it out there without the need for all the infrastructure that's lacking in so many places in the world. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.